meantime, have you guys seen the movie Jingle Jangle? You guys seen the movie? You seen it? You don't remember it? Okay, so after this, you have to be sure to go see it because there'll be a lot of things that are comparison and correlation. So I'm excited to read this book. Ready? <laughs> this is the square root possible. Journey loved to make things. She liked to tinker, to engineer, to invent. When she was hard at work, puzzling her way from a pile of parts to a brand new creation, Journey saw things, beautiful things. Formulas, equations, numbers, logic, paths from here to there, from start to finish, from problem to solution. Journey saw things that shouldn't be possible. She made things that shouldn't be possible. But because Journey believed in them, they were. It's a wonderful thing to see impossible things, to have extraordinary vision. But it can be lonely too, when people don't see what you see. You get it from your grandfather, Journey's mom said, with a funny smile. Journey had never met her grandfather. All she knew was, his name is Geronimus Jane. He lives far, far away, and he was the greatest inventor of all time. He used to make the most marvelous toys and inventions, Journey's mom said. She always looked a little sad when she talked about her father, Geronicus, but proud too. Journey wanted to meet her grandfather. She wanted to meet someone who was like her, who saw things that she saw. She wanted to work side by side with great inventor <coughs> Geronicus James. And so Journey set off to call to him. Yes, but when Journey found her grandfather, there was no glowing formulas. There were no dancing numbers. There weren't even any tools or materials or notebooks filled with scribble notes. This, oh, there was just a grouchy old man who didn't seem very happy to see Journey. This was a problem for sure. But Journey loved solving problems. Finding the solution was always so satisfying. Geronicus Jangle had lost his jingle, and Journey was going to help him get it back. Journey's grouchy grandfather was poking at something interesting. It didn't look like it was going so well, so Journey decided to help. She scribbled a glowing formula into the air. Words, numbers, truth, magic, time, chance, belief. You can see that, her grandfather said. Can't you, asked Journey? Her grandfather looked glum. No, he said, not anymore. Journey stayed up late that night, thinking about the square root possible. There was a variable missing from her grandfather's law. His crankiness had been multiplied by four, which was bad enough, but the long division of lonely, that was a real problem. What Geronicus Jangle was missing was fun. Fun would balance that equation. Fun canceled out bitterness. Fun subtracted sadness. In the morning, a fresh coat of snow blanketed Cobbleton. It was beautiful, and more than that, Journey happened to know what snow added up to. What do you think snow adds up to? That's, that's right, what else? Snow. Snow. Snowballs. Snowflakes. Snowflakes, yes, yes. Snowflakes. Snowflakes, there we go. Journey knew just what she needed to do. Splat! Her snowball socked Geronicus right in the head. Journey giggled bullseye. For one terrible moment, Geronicus Jangle was grouchier than ever. Is snow raining at the sky? Yes. Come on, 
one journey thought. The square root of possible and the fourth snowball theorem dictates an equal and opposite reaction. So, react! And then, he began scribbling furiously in the snow. At first, the symbols only glowed faintly. But as Journey's grandfather built a fearsome new formula, the letters and numbers began to burn in the air. Nobody but Journey and Geronicus could see them. Nobody but Journey and Geronicus believed in them. But that didn't mean they weren't real. They were the realest things ever. Powered by pure math of mischief, the snowball whizzed through the crowd. It swerved around corners. It hopped over lampposts. Journey dodged and ducked, but that snowball had vision. Splat! Journey had never been so happy to get a snowball full of a face full of snow in her entire life. It was the most magnificent mathematical snowball fight Cobbleton had ever seen. And the best part of it all was that her square root of possible theorem worked. <coughs> Fun minus sad multiplied by mischief divided by love with the added addition of affection for good measure equals joy. Equals joy? Equals oh, yeah. joy, yeah. <laughs> 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 and so here at the end, I put the words to the song so that when you're watching the movie and Journey starts singing it, you can see what inspired me to do it. And I have another little Easter egg for you. You know what an Easter egg is? Yeah, yeah. Easter egg. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that's right. It's something hidden. So we like to put Easter eggs in the movie Jingle Jangle. So when you go watch, there's a lot. So here I put a little Easter egg. I don't know if you can see right there. There's a little, little, tiny, tiny little buddy. Buddy the robot. See right there? You see right there? Yeah. So Buddy, which is here, you see here, isn't he cute? So he's right there because you have to believe in Buddy for Buddy to work. So I put him right there, it's hidden. And in the movie, you'll see lots of little Easter eggs like that. Um, in the back, each storefront is named after someone who did something first. So, inventors, if you remember, there was a character in there named Edison. You remember Edison? Edison Latimer in the movie was his Journey's best friend. And you guys know who invented the light bulb? No, Edison. No. Edison? Yes. So they say Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, right? But that's not all the way true. It's Thomas Edison and Louis Latimer who invented the light bulb, who was a black man. Louis Latimer invented the filament inside of the light bulb. So of course, a light isn't gonna light up if it doesn't have filament, right? The little wire inside. That's right, he made it light up. So in history, we named a character after him, it's Edison Latimer. And then there is a storefront name. I have a Vegas trivia in here for you. So my dad, I grew up here in Vegas, right around the corner. My my ma, I still my mom still lives in the house that I grew up in, so this, these are my stomping grounds. Um, my father, Lonnie Sisson, was the first black optometrist licensed here in the state of Nevada. Mm -hmm. So if you look in the film, right next to Jangles and Things, you will see a building called Sisson Arms, and that is named after my dad. Mm -hmm. For a first here in Las Vegas, so that's really important to me for his legacy. And you will also see other names like Tharp Music Co. is in Cobbleton. That's named after Sister Rosetta Tharp, who people don't know, but she was the godmother of rock and roll. She invented that guitar riff that you always hear all these rock stars playing on their guitar. That was invented by a black woman named Sister Rosetta Tharp. And then you have other stores like Dorsey and Sons, Ironmonger, he was the inventor of the doorknob and doorstop. 
So way back in history, you need to know there were people walking around looking just like you back in the 1900s and 1800s inventing things, and you just don't even know about it. But you're going to see it in this movie. And so I want you to be sure to look it up so that you can learn who these people are so that you know that you can do these things too. Okay? All right. Do you have any questions for me? No. Nope. I answered everything? Yes. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I really did. Even though it was a lot of work, it was a lot of fun. Because to be able to see you guys light up the way you do and to see the images and see the magic, it, that's what makes it all work. So thank you for asking. Yes. So like, if you if you make like make a second movie, would you suggest something like this movie add like make like many people that did like first like music and stuff? Yeah, I like adding elements like that. To me, when you're telling stories, it's important to um, we call it layering the story, right? You don't just show one thing. When you do something, you don't just do one thing. You do layers to it. Like, what's the best kind of cake? The layer cakes, right? With the different flavors or the icing. You have a, a vanilla cake with a chocolate icing, right? It, it makes it kind of better, right? When you put the layers in there. Really so good. it makes it really good. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, is it? California, are you writing another chapter book? And can you answer with your face? that way so they can see. <laughs> um, I, I hope to write some more chapter books. This was always a dream of mine to do some children's books because my dad, Dr. Lonnie's sister, and my mom, um, they would always buy us books. Reading was very important. So I always wanted to do chapter books and picture books because they were so important to me. I love the Silverstein books. I love, you know, the Ezra Knight books, all those books I grew up with. And so um, I uh, hope to do I more. I am planning on books. doing more. Yes, Christmas books. I love the Christmas books. I love these picture books and even the illustration, I have to give a shout out to um, Tara Nicole Whitaker and Ashley Stewart who um, did the illustrations in these books for me because I feel the illustrations are just as important as the storytelling. And um, to capture the eyes, if you look at Journey and her eyes and how the detail, I think that's always really important. So these are these are different types of skills that you guys can learn or jobs that you may want to do. You might want to be an illustrator one day or um, you might want to do digital art. You know, in the film, when you watch it, you'll see all the digital um, uh, characters in there as well. So there's so many hidden pockets of careers that can be creative and inspiring that you don't even know exist that you can be doing and showing your creativity and making money at and living your life. So these are all things that I feel are available to us and you don't even realize that it takes so much to even just put a book together, you know, or to put a movie together. So um, I hope to, to it long answer, yes, I hope to do some more chapter books. <laughs> Because it's like Netflix, would you ever consider doing like a spin-off series? Like, yes, I did talk to them. Exactly. Here. Yes, no, we have been talking to them about that as well. Doing even an animated. That's why I did the books and the illustrations that way because I wanted to do like an animated series as well to go along with it. Because you know how we grew up with those claymation, yes. you know, Christmas stories that we still watch to this day. I'd love to do something like that. Yes, Thank you for your question. I made the book in 2020. That's when I did it because that was the same year the film came out. And crazy enough, that was COVID, right? So 20 years spent on this project <laughs> to do this. And we're literally, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be in all the theaters. You know, it's going to be a big to do. And then we COVID hits. I was like, I cannot believe this, you know, because it was supposed to be this. It, we literally how it shot when you watch it. It's for watching it in the theater, the sound, everything. 
Um, but I have to say, it did come out at the right time still because I felt like at that time we needed something. We needed the hope and, and the faith and the inspiration. So um, I am glad that people were able to sit at home with their families and watch mm -hmm. it. But I would love to re-release it in a theater at some point and have people watch it how it was made to be watched. Yeah. I mean, I was literally sitting at home you know, they really shut everything down because nobody knew what was going on, what it was, and I'm having to like approve four kick these high red shots at home. You know, it never been done before. And so we made it possible. Like I said, that's where we were possible with this <laughs> with this film. It it was no joke, but uh, you know, we did it. So I'm really I'm really proud of it, and I hope you guys like it too. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>